Hello, I'm Kenny Lowry, and today we're going to take a look at the largest fire rock that we offer. This is a very large rock. Uh, it has a enough surface area there to put a 24-inch fire ring in it. We actually have an 18-inch fire ring, ring in it right now. I think a 12-inch would be a little small. Uh, you may have enough room here you could do two 12s, a 12 down there and a 12 here. Uh, and that's things you can ask us about when ordering. Uh, this also, I think, would be available, and I haven't done it, but it would certainly be easy for me to do. This could be a fire and water combination. I think the water coming up right here where you have that little dip right there, and we could have water coming off the front of it there, and it would kind of flow off that front there and then one, one of our disappearing fountain basins. This is a great rock for uh, the height of it. I think it's perfect. You could set around on the edge of it. You could certainly set here on both sides and probably right here. Uh, just be careful of the fire when you're setting there. Make sure you don't know it's windy day. It's a perfect height to put your feet up on. I think if you have chairs around it, you can set your feet up on it. It's flat enough here. You could actually set a plate or uh, your coffee mug or a glass of wine. Anything like that would be perfect to set up here. It is flat enough on top to be able to do that. So I really like this. I think it would be a nice gathering rock. So if you gather around it with, a, with plenty of people here or others, it's such a wide rock you could set several chairs around the outer side of it. So I see this as a, as a great gathering rock, and that's what we're going to call this, the gathering rock. Right now I'll grab the uh, camera and show you close. But first I wanted to be able to show you here how you can kind of set on the edge of it. Now keep in mind this is a GFRC boulder. It stands for glass fiber reinforced concrete. It's the same material used in zoo exhibits and animal habitats. It has the look, the feel, and the texture of real rock at about one-fifth the weight. Now this is a mold made of a real rock, and I'll show you up close here. Now it has the feel, texture of a real rock. It's dense feeling just like a real rock. It's a mold made of that real rock, and you can kind of see the detail down through there. Every crack and crevice, hole, or anything that's on that mother rock gets picked up on this rock. So the detail is amazing. Uh, we do the colors on it. It is a, a permanent color. So it's not a surface paint or anything like that. It is a permanent color. Now go all the way around. It is a beautiful rock all the way around. See it has a little bit of an overhang right here on this side. It's available in natural gas or propane. You can specify that when ordering. And we've got a flow control over here. We're using uh, this key here. So I'll show you. You can take that off. So that's the way you control the flow. It's kind of a, a mounted right there where you really don't see it too well. You could actually paint that black too and that would make it uh, blend in even more. But you can kind of see, I'll put that in there. And that's where you control the flow. And I'll turn it down here for you. So I'll turn it down. Now I'll turn it back up. So by doing it that way, you don't have to worry about hitting your leg on it or anything like that. And you can, if you take this and hide this, the kids can't get a hold of it. So that's one thing you can do too. It makes it so you're controlling who's using it. We've got it setting on a pallet here because we're going to be shipping it out. But it is a great height. I think it's a perfect fire rock, especially for large groups of people.